Breaking news from China's space industry. A massive steel tower rises 150 meters into the sky, its mechanical arms poised to grasp rockets from thin air. If you're thinking this sounds exactly like SpaceX's Mechazilla system, you're not alone. But this isn't a SpaceX facility. This is Cosmo Leap, China's latest venture into the space race. And they've just unveiled something that has the entire aerospace industry talking. In a bold move that's raising eyebrows across the global space sector, this Chinese startup has revealed what appears to be a near-perfect replica of SpaceX's revolutionary launch and catch system. With its towering height and distinctive chopstick arms, the resemblance is unmistakable. We're looking at a system that mirrors SpaceX's design down to roughly 90% of its features. But here's where things get interesting. Cosmo Leap isn't just copying the launch tower. Take a look at their proposed rocket design, a fascinating hybrid that combines elements from both Falcon 9 and Starship. We're talking carbon fiber construction, grid fins for steering, and a distinctive nine-engine configuration arranged in that familiar octagonal pattern that SpaceX enthusiasts know all too well. The question isn't just whether these systems will work, it's about the broader implications for the future of space exploration and the intensifying competition between the United States and China in the race to dominate the final frontier. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in the space industry. Let's dive right in. In the sprawling industrial landscape of China, a new space race is unfolding, one that's pushing the boundaries not just of technology, but of innovation ethics itself. Let's break down exactly what's happening at Cosmo Leap and why it's sending shockwaves through the aerospace community. The tower that mirrors Mechazilla, standing at an imposing 150 meters, Cosmo Leap's launch tower isn't just tall, it's a statement of intent. The engineering team has incorporated dual steel arms that bear an uncanny resemblance to SpaceX's famous chopsticks system. These arms are designed to perform a complex dance, lifting, stacking, and, most ambitiously, catching rockets during their descent. But here's where things get concerning. Our analysis of the facility's location reveals something SpaceX would never attempt. The tower is surrounded by high-rise buildings and civilian infrastructure. Industry experts have pointed out that this positioning violates basic safety protocols that most space agencies consider fundamental. The hybrid rocket mystery. The true fascination lies in Cosmo Leap's rocket design. Picture this, a carbon fiber exterior that echoes the Falcon 9's proven durability, topped with precision engineered grid fins that could have been lifted straight from SpaceX's blueprints. But the real story is at the base, nine engines arranged in an octagonal pattern, a configuration that's become synonymous with SpaceX's success. What's particularly bold about this approach is that Cosmo Leap isn't waiting to see if SpaceX's innovations actually work before copying them. They're betting billions on unproven technology, a strategy that's either brilliantly confident or dangerously naive. Lessons from recent failures. The risks of this approach became painfully clear during the Changlong 3 incident. The rocket developed by Space Pioneer, another Chinese space company, lost control during testing and ignited a nearby mountainside. This wasn't just a technical failure. It was a stark reminder of what happens when complex systems are replicated without understanding their fundamental principles. The incident has striking parallels to SpaceX's own learning curve with the orbital launch Mount OLM. But while SpaceX spent years perfecting their system through careful iteration, Chinese companies appear to be taking dangerous shortcuts. The Chang Long 3's launch stand bore remarkable similarities to Starship's OLM, but lacked crucial safety features that SpaceX considers non-negotiable. The Spacesuit Saga. But the story doesn't end with rockets and launch towers. In a move that caught the attention of Elon Musk himself, China recently unveiled a new spacesuit for their planned moon missions. The design bears such striking similarities to both Axiom and SpaceX's EVA suits that Musk's single-word response, crazy, spoke volumes. This suit is part of China's ambitious plan to put Taikonauts on the moon by 2030. 
They're targeting the lunar south pole, the same region NASA has in its sights. But while NASA partners with private companies and international space agencies, China is building its own parallel program, the International Lunar Research Station, ILRS. The Regulatory Battleground While China forges ahead with these replica systems, SpaceX faces a different kind of challenge back home. The FAA's regulatory process has become so burdensome that it's threatening to derail America's space ambitions. Flight testing delays have pushed crucial developments back months, with Flight 5 now scheduled for October. This regulatory gridlock is creating an unprecedented situation. While SpaceX perfects groundbreaking technologies like mid-air booster catches and Starship orbital refueling, their Chinese counterparts are free to replicate these innovations without the same oversight. The Technology Transfer Dilemma A closer examination of Cosmo Leap's simulation videos reveals something troubling. Their chopstick system's movements appear crude compared to SpaceX's fluid precision. This suggests they may have reverse-engineered the visible aspects of SpaceX's technology without understanding the sophisticated control systems that make it work. Industry experts estimate that while the physical tower exists, the actual catching mechanism remains in simulation phase. This reveals a crucial truth about China's space strategy. They're not just copying hardware, they're attempting to leapfrog years of research and development. The Satellite Constellation Connection Perhaps most intriguingly, sources within the industry suggest Cosmo Leap has plans to deploy their own massive satellite constellation. This moves beyond mere imitation into direct market competition with Starlink. The implications for global internet infrastructure and space traffic management are staggering. Their rocket's second-stage specifications remain classified, but satellite tracking experts have noted testing of unfamiliar objects in low Earth orbit, possibly prototype satellites for this new constellation. The global implications. This aggressive copying strategy isn't just about space technology. It's reshaping the entire landscape of global space exploration. While NASA and its contractors struggle with financial constraints and regulatory hurdles, China's space program operates with remarkable freedom. The contrast is stark. Axiom Space, NASA's spacesuit contractor, faces potential financial difficulties that could delay critical projects. Meanwhile, China's space program continues to expand, unburdened by the same oversight and financial constraints. The Race Against Time The timeline is becoming critical. With NASA targeting crucial Artemis missions in the next few years, SpaceX's Starship Human Landing System, HLS, must achieve reliable operation. Every FAA-imposed delay doesn't just affect SpaceX, it impacts America's entire lunar ambition. This creates a paradoxical situation where China's copying strategy, despite its ethical concerns, might actually accelerate their space program's development. While SpaceX meticulously develops and tests each innovation, Chinese companies can potentially skip certain development stages by reverse engineering proven systems. As we stand at this pivotal moment in space exploration, the contrast couldn't be clearer. While SpaceX continues to pioneer genuine innovations through rigorous testing and development, Chinese companies like Cosmo Leap are taking a different path, one that raises serious questions about the future of space innovation. The success or failure of these replicated systems will have far-reaching consequences. If Cosmo Leap's tower proves functional, it could accelerate China's space program dramatically. However, the recent Chonglong 3 incident serves as a sobering reminder of the risks involved in rushing complex aerospace technologies. The space race has evolved. It's no longer just about reaching new frontiers. It's about who will set the standards for how we get there. Will it be through genuine innovation and careful development, or through rapid replication and shortened development cycles? What do you think about this approach to space technology development? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We're particularly interested in hearing your views on how this might affect the future of space exploration. If you want to stay updated on the latest developments in space technology and get exclusive insights into the ongoing space race, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Hit that like button if you found this analysis valuable and share it with fellow space enthusiasts 
who need to know about these crucial developments. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, bringing you the most important stories from the frontier of space exploration. Stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in our next video. Breaking news. SpaceX's Starship Flight 6 is just days away, and the excitement at Starbase is reaching fever pitch. In a stunning development, Elon Musk has confirmed the launch window, while engineers race against time to complete final preparations for what could be the most ambitious test flight yet. The stars of our story, Ship 31 and Booster 13, a dynamic duo featuring groundbreaking innovations that could revolutionize space travel. SpaceX has completely reimagined the heat shield design, slashing the tile count from 18,500 to 17,700, marking a bold step toward enhanced reusability. But that's not all. This launch carries unprecedented significance. With NASA's Artemis program on the horizon and Mars missions in sight, Flight 6 represents more than just another test. It's a crucial stepping stone towards SpaceX's vision of bi-weekly launches by next year. Meanwhile, the competition isn't standing still. Blue Origin unveiled new developments for New Glenn, and China introduced a fascinating NASA Space Shuttle replica aimed at resupplying their Tiangong space station. The space race is heating up, and the stakes have never been higher. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in space exploration and innovation. Let's dive right in. At Starbase, the atmosphere is electric. Ship 31, or S-31, as the SpaceX team calls it, emerged from its hangar on November 11th, revealing a revolutionary redesign that's turning heads across the aerospace industry. The most striking change? A completely reimagined heat shield that's not just lighter, but smarter. By reducing the tile count from 18,500 to 17,700, SpaceX engineers haven't just stripped away excess weight, they've created space for something even more exciting. Catch enabling hardware that could revolutionize spacecraft recovery. The engineering behind these modifications represents years of accumulated knowledge and countless hours of testing. Each tile has been meticulously redesigned, its placement calculated to withstand the extreme temperatures of atmospheric re-entry while maintaining structural integrity. This isn't just about reducing numbers, it's about optimizing every square inch of the spacecraft's surface for maximum performance. Inside sources report the SpaceX team worked around the clock, pushing boundaries that many thought impossible. After its dramatic rollout, S-31 briefly returned to the high bay, a move that sparked intense speculation among space enthusiasts. But Elon Musk's confirmation on X put all rumors to rest. Starship Flight 6 is coming up soon. Those five words sent shockwaves through the space community, triggering a cascade of analysis and speculation about what this flight might achieve. The technical preparations have been nothing short of extraordinary. Teams of engineers have been working in shifts, conducting detailed analyses of every system, every component, every potential point of failure. The level of precision required is staggering. Even a fraction of a degree off in alignment could have significant consequences during flight. But here's where things get really interesting. Booster 13, S-31's powerful partner, has a story of its own. After acing its static fire test in late October, this beast of a rocket underwent meticulous inspections. Engineers poured over every engine, every grid fin, checking and double-checking. Why? Because B-13 isn't just any booster, it's carrying revolutionary modifications for hot staging, a technique that could redefine our approach to space launch vehicles. The game-changing staging ring spotted at Mega Bay 1 on November 8th tells us something unprecedented is coming. Picture this. Starship's engines igniting before full booster separation. A dance of fire and precision that could redefine space travel. This isn't just an incremental improvement. It's a complete reimagining of how rockets transition between stages. The engineering challenges involved are monumental. Timing must be perfect down to the millisecond, and the forces involved are enormous. 
Deep within the heart of B-13, new sensors and control systems have been installed to manage this complex choreography of thrust and separation. The engineering team has developed sophisticated algorithms to handle the intense forces and rapidly changing conditions during this critical phase of flight. Each component has been tested and retested under extreme conditions to ensure reliability. The implications are staggering. SpaceX isn't just aiming for successful launches anymore. They're pushing for a bi-weekly launch schedule by next year. Every modification, every improvement on Flight 6 brings us closer to a future where space travel is as routine as catching a flight from New York to London. This ambitious goal requires not just technical excellence, but a complete rethinking of launch operations and ground support equipment. The launch pad itself has undergone significant modifications to support these increased launch frequencies. New cooling systems, reinforced concrete, and advanced monitoring equipment have been installed to handle the increased stress of regular launches. The ground support equipment has been redesigned for rapid turnaround, with automated systems replacing many manual processes. But the real story here isn't just about the hardware, it's about what's at stake. NASA's Artemis program is watching